to find the best place, and we found it. Welcome to the Winter Palace. Built in 1886 by British explorers, what used to be the royal family of Egypt's winter getaway is now a five-star hotel. So the entire hotel has really kept its Victorian era vibes. And you can just imagine the king taking his tea. This is the Victorian lounge, literally the room where the king of Egypt actually vacationed and where he would take his tea. And oh my gosh, <laughs> maybe he had comfier chairs back then. So after serving as the Egyptian family's colonial winter palace, this was eventually bought and turned into a hotel. But obviously with its luxurious, grandiose nature, it's not just any hotel and a lot of famous people have stayed here, among them being Winston Churchill. And notably, Agatha Christie actually stayed here at the hotel while riding Death on the Nile. Because if you haven't, <laughs> there's a fly. Because if you haven't heard, we're overlooking the Nile. So to understand part of what makes this hotel really unique, you actually need to meet two characters first. So first we have Howard Carter, who is an archeologist and whose life goal was to find King Tut's tomb. But for Carter to be able to find Tut, he needed a financial backer. So in steps English aristocrat, the fifth Earl of Carnarvon, um, he decided to fund and support and actually go along with Howard to find King Tut and both of them actually stayed in this hotel in 1922 when they made the big discovery. As a side note for all of you uh, TV lovers like me, <laughs> Lord Carnarvon was actually the estate owner of Highclere Castle, uh, maybe better known as the setting for Downton Abbey. <laughs> so that's just a fun tie-in. So welcome to the gardens. The Winter Palace boasts one of the most beautiful gardens in Egypt. It is kept up by a team of 12 gardeners. So in the gardens, there are pools, restaurants, as you see behind me, and bars and shisha corners. So there's really no shortage of things to do. And if you look right over the fence, we're actually next door to Luxor Temple. So it's really great location as far as visiting the sites. After their many years of searching and while staying at this exact hotel, Howard Carter and his team actually found King Tut's tomb. And inside of it, everything. The coffin, the gold, the sarcophagus, the mummy. And it was on these very steps where on November 4th of 1922, they announced their discovery. So besides staying in a really nice hotel with the crazy history that comes along with it, of course, you're right by the Nile. So you can just hop down from the steps and immediately you're right here to catch a boat, a dinner cruise, whatever you're feeling. It's so beautiful. <laughs> this is one of the weirdest elevators. So you let the door close, and that's it. There's no sliding door like this. We just go past it. What? You gotta make a note of this key here. The thing is so heavy and legit, but feels very serious to have this. Definitely not gonna lose it. So we paid a little bit extra for a Nile River View room, which is totally worth it. I mean, it's the whole reason that we booked this place. And we have a balcony with the most incredible view. It's so much better than I expected.
welcome to our balcony. This is really just the best view ever. Watching the boats passing by and enjoying the sunset over the water. This is unbeatable. And one of my favorite parts of this room so far is that I found out there's a window in the bathroom. What? Look at this view. You can literally be in the bathtub hanging out by the Nile. We've booked three nights here in the King Room, which came out to just around $200 US each night. for a super fun day. Uh, we'll show you what's going on in next week's video, but we did want to show you this hotel's breakfast because um, it's really nice that they actually started this early for people who are wanting to hit the sites when they open. Um, they have a ton of options. I'm always loading up on watermelon. <laughs> So we got like a whole plate of meringue. Why not? The Winter Palace also has a large pool area, which we've been enjoying the past few days, and several restaurants to choose from, from top of the line French cuisine, which is a very formal dress, by the way. Uh, but lots of choices to choose from. We've had a great time. This is definitely one of the best locations in Luxor. We were right next to Luxor Temple and just popped over there to go visit. It was incredible. Highly recommend. We've had the best three days and now we're off on our next adventure. So subscribe if you wanna see more. That will be out next week.